light of the world. You are the light of the world. For all to see, you are the light of the world. of the world, you are the light of the world, let it not shine for all to see, you are the light of the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we gather, sisters and brothers, to celebrate this most sacred liturgy, and as we gather to worship our God in word and in sacrament, we call to mind our sins and we ask the Lord for mercy and for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I as Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Christ lay his own Kyrie lay his own Glory Glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. <laughs> Seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus. 
Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father Glory to God in the highest Glory Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, ask something of me and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made the request. So God said to him, because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now, and after you there will come no one to equal you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say our name of the Lord. Blessed are they, blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord.
Blessed are they, blessed are they who follow the Lord of the Lord. Blessed are they, blessed are they, who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they, blessed are they, who follow the law of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called, and those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again. 
And out of joy, goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Any visitors? <laughs> I know we have some, so welcome, welcome. Uh, Roberto and Gina were married 10 years ago, yesterday or today? Uh, 23rd. 23rd. I, I married you, yeah. correct? Yeah. And tonight they're going to renew their vows. So we're very happy uh, that they're going to do that along with the family and so on. So you all can have a seat. Come on. Uh, there are plenty of seats. I think there are plenty of seats. Okay. Whenever Jesus was asked the question, what is the kingdom of God or what, what is the kingdom of heaven? Instead of answering the question, Jesus would always say, the kingdom of heaven is light. Right? The kingdom of heaven is like. And at some point, why didn't somebody put up their hand and say, no, just answer the question? <laughs> right? But in Matthew, there's six. The kingdom of heaven is like. And today, we're told that the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure or fine pearls in other words it's valuable valuable now some of you uh, may recall uh, years ago a great movie that I still watch from time to time uh, titled Field of Dreams Field of Dreams do you remember that? Yeah, it's a great movie. Really, it is. You recall that the character, his name was Ray, heard voices. Now, now today, of course, you hear voices. Uh, you shouldn't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> but the voice said what? If you build it, they will come. He had no idea what that meant. If you build it, they will come. However, he had the notion, now, he's a farmer. You don't plow your fields to build a baseball uh, uh, diamond. You just don't, as far as I know. But he does. He gets rid of the corn, right, and builds a, a playing field. His neighbors thought he was... Right. But it turns out that he was right. That if you build it, they will come. In other words, for Ray, the field was more valuable than corn. More valuable than the corn. When we hear the word treasure, of course, we automatically think of wealth, right? Money and possessions, you know, it, it's a treasure. The pirates had treasure, right? They buried it somewhere. The Knights Templar had treasure that people are still trying to find, you know. Or sometimes we think of treasure as, 
I go to a garage sale, right? I buy this cheap oil paint of dogs playing poker, <laughs> right? And then it turns out that the painting is a Picasso. Aha. Uh -huh. That only happened, well, no, it, it does happen, by the way. It does happen. But oftentimes when we hear the word treasure, we automatically think of wealth. And who doesn't want wealth? Who doesn't want wealth? Who would not want to win the lottery? Who would not want to, walking on the beach, finds a lantern? Right? And you pick it up. And Will Smith comes out. <laughs> you got three wishes. Three wishes. The smart thing to do is to do what? Ask for three more. Now notice what Solomon does. Solomon could have had treasure, lots of it. All the money that he couldn't even count. But he says, no. What I want is wisdom. That is that I want to be a good king. I want to be a wise king. He didn't care about wealth. He just wanted to be a good king. And then God rewards him because he didn't ask for wealth or a long life. So us. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, Jesus tells us, is so valuable. So valuable. That we would do anything to possess it. To possess it. So, there is a scale that I, I'd like you to think about this weekend. And that is, uh, it's from 1 to 10. Okay, 1, of course, being the lowest, 10 being the highest. In your own life, in your own life. Now, yeah, this is a sidebar. Don't just say 10, because that's what you're supposed to say. But where, on the scale of 1 to 10, does Jesus fall in your life? Answer that in the secret of your own hearts. We would like to think 10, right? I mean, but sometimes it could be 4 or three, and sometimes even one. I have to e evaluate at the end of the summer our deacon, you know, and they send me pages and pages of evaluation. Oh, I know. And it's from one to 10. One to 10. And I told them, I said, you're not going to get a 10, because 10 means that you have no room to grow. So forget 10. Then he looked at me like I had two heads. <laughs> but where on the scale of 1 to 10 would you put Jesus in your life? That's the first question. The second is, reverse it. On a scale from 1 to 10, where would Jesus put you? I know. Where would Jesus put you on a scale from 1 to 10? My sense is that most of us, and I include myself in this, most of us are in the middle. And oftentimes we go here, right? And sometimes we go here. That's right. That's right. You see? So what number, where would Jesus put you on a scale? 
It's an interesting question. So that is your assignment this weekend. Ask yourself, where do I put Jesus on a scale from 1 to 10, and where would Jesus put me on a scale from 1 to 10? All right, Gina, Roberto. No, no, no. He's okay. He, no, no. Do, oh, do you want to stand here? Yeah. Okay, come on up here. Okay. All right. If you step up here, that means you're going to be a priest. Uh huh. He's stepping down. Okay. <laughs> Roberto and Gina, 10 years ago, you stood before God's altar, and the vows that you took were for life. And you promised to each other that you would love each other in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, until death do you part. So, 10 years later, are you ready to recommit yourselves to each other with that same vows that you took 10 years ago? I do. I do. Roberto, do you once again take Gina to be your lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward? for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, will you love her and honor her all the days of your life? I do. And Gina, do you once again take Roberto to be your lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, Will you love him and honor him all the days of your life? I do. And may the Lord in his kindness strengthen your consent that you have declared before the church and bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God has joined together, we must never separate. Okay. If you could hold hands. No. No. O oh Lord, bless these rings which Roberto and Gina gave to each other, and may they always remind them of the sign of their love and, and their fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now I would say you may kiss the bride, but you know. <laughs> uh, maybe tonight at home. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and please stand as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begot not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And in faith, we offer our prayers to the Father. That our church leaders will be guided by the Spirit as they address the causes of human suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that more men and women will learn from Jesus, 
and discover the yoke of their vocation is perfectly suited to them and respond with humble, gentle service as priests, deacons, and consecrated religious, guidance and example, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit will help us overcome indifference to the pressing needs of others, whether in our own country or in economically poorer nations, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may rejoice in eternal life with our loving Father, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will hear the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers that we have placed before you. In the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives with you and the Spirit forever and ever. Amen. By the mystery of the sweat and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share. We'll bring them up later. Blessed are you, O Lord God of all creation, for it's your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it's your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord God. And Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me of all my sins. And now, sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life. For you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert. Now, as your church makes her pilgrim journey in the world, do you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the path of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so, with the angels and the saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for his disciples, so not for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drank from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And therefore, Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed unto us and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity so that together, with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, with all the bishops, priests, deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Saints Joachim and Anne, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints. We shall praise and give you glory through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen.
Amen. And at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, <coughs> on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, be your life to us who receive it. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Christ, the body Christ. body Christ the body Christ God bless you the body Christ let's make a first look at the body Christ the body Christ the body Christ the body Christ Corpo de Cristo the body Christ Amen. the body Christ Body Christ. Body Christ. Body Christ. The Body Christ. Body Christ. The Body Christ. Body Christ. The Body Christ. Body Christ. Body Christ. Body Christ. Body Christ. Body Christ. The Body Christ. Body Christ, Body Christ, Body Christ, the Body Christ, Body Christ, the Body Christ, Body Christ, Body Christ, the Body Christ, the Body Christ, Body Christ, Body Christ, Body Christ. 
by the Christ. By the Christ. The body 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 Christ. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.